Good evening everybody, my name is Samuel. In this video, I'll be demonstrating you insert, update, delete using Apache hoodie using Glue PySpark. Many organizations are essentially building data lakes uh, on S3, uh, you know, using modern architecture uh, due to its cost um, effective solution, right? Because S3 uh, offers 99.119% uh, of uh, availability and it's very, very cheap, right? Um, but with the rise of data like arises problems such as how do we do CDC? How do I essentially update? How do I essentially delete my data on, on, on a data lake? These are some of the challenges which uh, were solved essentially by frameworks such as Delta Lakes, Apache Hoodie and Apache Iceberg. This video I'll be demonstrating you uh, through a Apache Hoodie. So let's get started straight into action. So let me show you an example and demo as well and a little bit concept on how we are going to achieve an insert update delete uh, using Apache hoodie, right? Uh, please note, this is how it is going to be. I'll show you shortly on, on the console as well. So this table right here, guys, uh, let's call this table as a user. Okay. This is a table called user. Okay. This is our Apache hoodie table, which is where insert updates, delete all that CRUD operation happens here on this one. Now we are going to make one more S3 folder, right? We will call this as user target and I'll explain you what this means in a second. Okay. So what happens is now we're going to take the data from here. We're going to load it into here. These are larger parquet files, which are compressed and specially meant for Athena for querying purposes, right? So this is where our end user is going to query the data, right? Now, anytime a CRUD operation happens here and insert and update and delete, right? So there will be the change happening here. Then what we are going to do is we're going to, um, you know, delete all these data here and then essentially repopulate the data here. Essentially, these are again, big parquet files and these are pretty quick. It doesn't take that long, right? So that's, that's sort of the idea of what, that we're going to do. Uh, to show you a little bit in code, uh, if you observe my screen here, I have a bucket called glue learn beginners in the temp folder. I have two folders. Uh, the user one is essentially the hoodie table. This is again, as you can see, it has a hoodie metadata, all the metadata uh, lies here. And then the target folder is where, you know, the Athena people are going to query this, right? So here you can see the parquet snappy compression files, specially meant for Athena query purposes. So now I'm going to come on my data lake and I'm essentially going to run a query, uh, essentially simple uh, query right here. And I want to show you one thing quickly, if I can zoom out. So now what we are going to do is basically here you see the data. I am going to show you an update operation on the data lake, right? So I'm going to update record number three over here and record number seven, right? So we're going to update this. So what's going to happen? Remember, these updates will happen here in the primary table. We're going to delete all the data and then repopulate these parquet files here, bigger, larger parquet files. To show you in the code how that happens is actually super, super easy. Um, so now again, I'm showing you the update part. So I'm going to comment out this line of code here. I'll so over here, I'm saying that, you know, I want to change um, the data where the ID is three and seven. Again, this is my data lake, right? So this is where the record three and uh, record uh, seven, seven here. I want to change uh, stuff right there, right? So when I essentially say um, spark dot, again, I'm creating a spark data frame and then essentially I am writing the data into the hoodie format and here I'm providing the option right so when i do that this update does happen on this table right here observe your uh, attention over here right this is where the update happens which means to show you the update would happen in the folder called user right uh, all that crud operation updates will happen here and then what we are going to do is basically we're going to delete all these files and i'm going to repopulate that so coming back to the code if you observe um, Again, once I made my updates, if you observe over here carefully, I am reading uh, the data from the hoodie table, as you can see on line 106. And once I'm done that, I'm essentially purging everything in that particular directory. So all these files are going to be deleted. And then essentially, if you observe create table, if not exist, I'm creating a table from um, again, my, uh, you know, again, again, I'm saying that I get, um, you know, create, create a new table called um, hoodie users, right? And the location is going to be inside this. Okay. But all these files are going to be deleted, right? So the new files are going to come up, right? And select everything from hoodie user view. So here, as you can see, observe carefully, I read the data from the hoodie table, essentially, 
uh, I create a view here and essentially I purge the data first. So everything is deleted over here and then essentially I repopulate um, all the files uh, over here. So let's see this in action. Hopefully that made sense. So now I'm gonna update this. So I'm gonna deploy my glue script. I'm gonna say npxls deploy, right? This might take a second or two. So this will essentially deploy my glue job. So again, observe here, right? On uh, the record number three that is over here. This is gonna be changed, okay? So coming back to my glue console and over here, I am gonna come to the job section. This is my job. I'll run the job, very straightforward uh, and easy, right? Once the Spark job is complete, again, um, uh, this will uh, perform an update operation. Here you can see it's running. So just to explain you what just happened, if you are curious again, so I'll try to explain you again. So this is where our uh, CRUD operation will happen. So that update happened, it will happen over here in this particular folder. And then what we are doing is the folder that we had here where the, uh, you know, where the end user is querying, right? Data scientist, analyst, right? So we are gonna delete all these parquet files, right? And we're gonna repopulate the parquet files over here, essentially. These are larger, big parquet files, uh, efficiently, uh, especially meant for query purposes, right? So uh, let's see. Again, my Spark job is running. In the upcoming videos, we are also gonna try out Delta Lakes. We are also gonna try out Iceberg and other stuff as well. So um, yeah, you know, so this might take a couple of seconds. Again, as I said, it's very straightforward. The code is very self-explanatory. I'm essentially updating record three and seven. Here you can see I'm just putting some name. I am writing that uh, I am essentially writing the Spark data frame as a format as hoodie. So this essentially transaction or, you know, update would happen over this folder called user. This happens over here. Once that happens, what we do is essentially uh, we read the data from the hoodie table and I'm essentially just creating uh, a table in Athena for my view purposes. And of course I do purge all the older files that are there inside that, right? So coming to my Google console, uh, oh, where is that? Not here, not here, no. Oh, this one, my bad. So it's still running. Uh, I'll wait for a second or two for the job to complete. Uh, should be done in a second or two, hopefully. Still running. So basically that's, that's easy, right? Apache hoodie really, really is a game changer, right? Uh, hoodie, iceberg, delta lakes, they essentially now allow you to perform insert, updates, delete on your lakes, right? That's a, something fantastic. There are much more of the features that they offer, but this is the main thing which everybody wants on a data lake, right? So sharing back my screen, uh, still running though, as you can see. Again, if you're gonna perform this exercise, there might be a dollar or two cost associated because glue is not under a free tire, right? So again, as I said, there might be a dollar or two cost. And if you're looking for a tutorial to learn this, I have everything step-by-step step with resources here. If you come to my GitHub repository on this repository, here is the video, uh, all the jar files, ENV, everything is given here step-by-step and step additional resources where you can read more. Uh, I'm still waiting at this point to this complete. And again, this is complete. Now, if I go to my Athena and remember this should have, this, this would be changed now. If I run this, hopefully I, I'm gonna find the record number three. Here you can see guys, that's an update. Observe here, so if I can zoom in. Here you can see we did update. So you truly see the power of uh, these frameworks, right? A hoodie, iceport, delta lakes. They essentially now allow you to, you know, manage CRUD operations on a lake. That's something fantastic. Uh, Again, a quick quick note. Now, somebody might ask me a question. Hey, Samuel, this is great, but isn't there a problem here? Um, again, you have your main S3 folder called user, right? Where all the CRUD operations are performing, right? Everything is happening. And then the end user or the BI analyst is essentially running the data over here, right? 
what if this data is about two terabyte or big, right? Don't you have to delete all the files here and then again reload? Yes, that is correct, but that process is very, very fast. Since it's a Spark, right? These Parquet files are larger in size. These are large Parquet files, which are specifically meant for query purposes. And these are compressed using a snappy compression. So yes, the answer is yes. Yeah, you have to delete and reload this view. That is correct. But here is your cleanse one. This is where all your CRUD operation happens. Hoodie essentially manages the metadata and all that job Hoodie does for you. So all you need to do is now I just need to load the views, right? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's literally that easy. So I hope you did enjoy a nice walkthrough on Apache Hoodie. And uh, I gave you an example where we did update an item on the data lake. So hopefully that uh, is amazing, right? As I said, and all the source code and the material is given on my GitHub section. So please feel free to go read, try, and let me know your thoughts in the description section below. Thank you so much. And now the next couple of videos will be on Delta Lakes and Iceberg, okay? So see you guys in the next video.